permanent storage is any computer data storage device that retains its data when the device is unpowered. Common examples of permanent storage are the computer's hard drive, SSD, or M.2. A hard disk drive, sometimes abbreviated as hard drive, is a non-volatile memory hardware device that permanently stores and retrieves data on a computer. A hard drive is a secondary storage device that consists of one or more platters to which data is written using a magnetic head all inside of an air sealed casing. Internal hard disks reside in a drive bay connected to the motherboard using a SATA cable and are powered by a connection to the PSU or power supply unit. SSDs or solid state drives have started to replace hard disk drives because of the distinct performance advantages they have over hard disk drives including faster access times and lower latency. While SSDs is becoming more and more popular, hard disk drives continue to be used in many desktop computers largely due to the value per dollar that hard disk drives offer over SSDs. Short for solid state drive or solid state disk, although it doesn't use a disk mechanism, an SSD is a storage medium that uses non-volatile memory as a means of holding and accessing data. Unlike a hard drive, an SSD has no moving parts, which gives it advantages such as faster access time, noiseless operation, higher reliability, and lower power consumption. SSDs primarily use the SATA connection, which has a theoretical maximum transfer rate of 750 megabytes per second. However, a newer generation of SSDs, known as M.2, is emerging that utilize a PCIe connection offering speeds of up to 7 gigabytes per second. Formerly known as Next Generation Form Factor, or NGFF, the M.2 format is technically a replacement for the M SATA standard which was popular with manufacturers of super compact laptops and other small gadgets. That may seem surprising since most M.2 drives sold at retail are intended for use in full-size desktops, but M.2 has effectively replaced M SATA hard drives and SSDs in laptops. M.2 is more than just an evolutionary form factor. Potentially, it could supersede the whole aging serial ATA format altogether. M.2 is a slot that can interface with SATA 3.0, which is the cable that's probably connected to your desktop PC's storage device right now, PCI 3.0 and 4.0, which is the default interface for graphics cards and other major expansion devices, and even USB 3.0. That means that potentially, any storage or disk drive, GPU or port expansion or low power gadget that uses a USB connection could all be mounted on a card plugged into the M.2 slot at the same time. The reality is a little more complicated. For example, a single M.2 slot only has 4 PCI Express lanes, a quarter of the total generally desired for graphics cards, but the flexibility for this tiny little slot is impressive. When using the PCI bus instead of the SATA bus, M.2 devices can transfer data at anywhere from 50% to approximately 650% faster than standard SATA, depending on the capabilities of the motherboard and the M.2 card itself. If you have the opportunity to use an M.2 SSD on a motherboard that supports PCI Generation 3 or 4, it can be significantly faster than a regular SATA drive. At the moment, M.2 is primarily used as an interface for super fast SSDs, both on laptops and desktops. If you walk into a computer hardware store and ask for an M.2 drive, Assuming you can find a retail computer store still in operation, of course, they will almost certainly show you an SSD with an M.2 connector. Some laptop designs also use an M.2 port as the means of wireless connection, mounting tiny, low-powered cards that combine Wi-Fi and Bluetooth radios. 
This is less common for desktops where the ease of a USB dongle or PCIe times 1x card is preferred, though there's no reason you couldn't do it on a compatible motherboard. If your PC was made or assembled in the last few years, it probably has an M.2 slot. Unfortunately, the flexibility of the format means that actually using it, it isn't as simple as just plugging in a card. M.2 cards come with two major compatibility variables, length and key. The first is fairly obvious. Your computer needs to have enough physical space to support the length of the card you want to use. The second variable, how the card is keyed, just means the card connector must match the slot you'll be plugging it into. For desktops, length isn't typically a problem. Even a tiny mini ITX motherboard can easily make room for the maximum length M.2 PCB which is 110mm long. Some cards are as short as 30mm. You generally want a card to be the size intended for use by your motherboard manufacturer as an indentation in the end of the PCB allows for a small screw to hold it securely in place. All M.2 drives use the same width determined by the connection. The size is expressed in the following format. Check for compatibility with your laptop or motherboard when picking one out. M.2 2230 22mm wide by 30mm long. M.2 2242 22mm wide by 42mm long. M.2 2260 22mm wide by 60mm long. M.2 2280 22mm wide by 80mm long. M.2 2210 22mm wide by 110mm long. Some motherboards are flexible, offering mounting holes for the retention screw at some or all of these intervals. While the M.2 standard uses the same 22mm wide slot for all cards, it's not necessarily the exact same slot. Since M.2 is designed to be used with so many different kinds of devices, it has some frustratingly similar looking ports. B key uses a gap in the right side of the card, left side of the host controller with 6 pins to the right of the gap. This configuration supports PCIe times 2 bus connections. M key uses a gap in the left side of the card, right side of the host controller with 5 pins to the left of the gap. This configuration supports PCIe times 4 bus connections for twice the data throughput. B plus M key uses both of the above gaps with 5 pins on the left side of the card and 6 on the right. Because of the physical design, B plus M key cards are limited to PCIe times 2 speeds. M.2 cards with a B key interface can only fit into a B key host slot and likewise for M key, but cards with a B plus M key design can fit in either a B or an M host slot since they have gaps for both. Check your laptop or motherboard specification to see which one is supported. We recommend seeing the documentation instead of eyeballing the slot since the two key standards can easily be confused.